Now, if you want to learn how to create a professional letterhead for your school, business, or church, this is the right video for you. So don't go away. Hey everybody, Innocent here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here. Thank you so much for coming back again. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to come up with something like this. You're going to walk through all these layers in order to get something professional for your church, business or school. So let's get started. First off, I'm going to create a new document. It doesn't matter the size. It depends on you. So I'm going to use A4. So I'll go to new. And then I'm going to select international paper and then I'll pick A4. So I'll click OK. I want it in the portrait mode. So I'll just leave it like that. Now these are the colors that I'm going to use. That is why I've set it already. And this is the second color right over here. Any other extra color that comes along the line will be shown onto you. So I start off by dividing my document into three equal parts. So I go to view and then new guideline. So I want it vertically and then I'm going to put in 33.3. So we are basically dividing 100 by 3. Okay. Percent and then it is going to divide this one over here. So I'll go ahead and then you, you multiply 33 by 2. You're going to get 66 by 6 and then percent and then click OK. So basically it has divided this into three equal sections now let's start off by creating a rectangle over here so we create the first rectangle it has this color because that is the foreground color now let's go ahead and press ctrl j to duplicate that and we select the one at the bottom of it double click on this thumbnail over here and then we're going to change it to this particular color so i'm going to select my move tool and push this one up a little bit like this very small one so moving on, I want to make another rectangle over here, but then I go to guide and then I'm going to add a horizontal 15% line to it. That is to measure the place that I want to align my test and my logo to. So I'm going to create that particular rectangles over there. So I'll select my rectangle tool again, and then I'm going to select this long or make this long rectangle over there. So I'm going to drag it up a little bit over here. I have to make sure it's a bit longer okay so right over here and then i'm going to change the color to something gray so i want it the first one to be a little bit of gray like this and then i'll make a duplicate drag it somewhere around here and then double click on the layer and then i'm going to change the color to this particular blue here okay so i'll make a duplicate again and drag it and then I'm going to change the color to this particular color. So click OK and then you're good to go. So I'm done with my rectangles so I can group all of them and name this one rectangles. Next off, over here I want some couple of circles on top of these ones. So I'll come over here and pick my ellipse tool. And then I'm going to hold shift and draw the rectangle. So that is basically why we set up these guidelines to sort of guide us so we're going to change the color to this particular blue but this one is going up a little bit brighter like this so this is the color that i'm using and then i'll click ok so i'll move ahead and make a copy of it by pressing ctrl j bringing it over here so you can just use the arrow keys and then you push them over there like that and then i'll make a duplicate again and then i'll set this one over here so basically these are my ellipse that we're going to place the location the contact and then the website inside of there so straight away why don't we just input it over there and we go away so i'll go over to my resources over here and the first one is the location so i'll drag and drop in the location over here and then it goes for the first one to once i bring it over here i'll hold shift and then alt and then i'll squeeze it up or transform it to be smaller and then i can bring it inside of it a little so i can make it a little bit smaller again like that and then i make sure that i position it right over here so i'm going to right click and then rasterize right click again and go to the blending options and then i'm going to change the color to white so that i can be very visible for all of you to see so right over there 
then I click OK. So you take your time to position this one. You can zoom in well to make sure that you have it at the center of the circle or the ellipse. Anyway, let's move on. So I'll go back to my resources and the second one that I'm going to bring in is the call icon. I'll link this up in the description in case you want to check them out. So I'll bring this one over here also and then I'll hold shift and then alt and close it up. So I'll zoom in again and then make sure that I bring it inside of my ellipse or the circle if you want to say it that way either of them it, it works so i'll right click and then rasterize this one come on top of this fx over here that is the effect that we've added hold alt i just don't want us to go back to the blending options and to pick a different one you can use this to enhance your work so you hold alt and then you drag this fx onto the call icon and then it copies the effect onto that particular one isn't that simple okay let's move on the last one that we want to add is the browser or the web but that photoshop has provided us with one so we go to the costume shape and then over here you have the browser that is sort of the browser shape so you hold alt and then you create your shape over there simply and beautifully i hope photoshop will in the near future incorporate that of the location and that of the social media handles whatever but you can download brushes for them if you want to so these are our three things that we've done also and then we can group all of these and i prefer to call it the ellipse or the circles to make it easy for me so circles now moving on next what we're going to do is we go on top here and we import in the logo so the logo comes here this logo has a white background which automatically blends with my background in case you are designing with a different background you might want to try getting rid of the background or a logo with a different color you might want to get rid of the background before you use it so you bring it over here and then you press ctrl t to do all the necessary transformations that you are supposed to do at the right side of this one we are going to write the company name because this one is not really going to show so i'll go for my test tool and then i'm going to write with a font called a vertical insert if you are someone who has been here for a while you know i really like this one so we're going to write gadi motos and then we're going to press ctrl t to make sure it is very big over here position it right here and make sure that it is in alignment with this one so you can use another guideline just drop it over there and you can drop it back if you don't want to or if it is confusing you so i'm going to duplicate this particular test by pressing ctrl j and then i'm going to drag it below of this one and i'm going to edit that to end and trading enterprise so i'm going to change this one to the left alignment and then i'm going to change the color to something way gray so i can go for this but this is too thin so i can come down a little bit i believe this is fine and it is using this particular color if you want to use and then i'll bring it over here so i press ctrl t to transform that one a little bit to make it small and then i can position it over here so i'll drag and make sure that this one comes down a little bit and i press ctrl t to resize it and it looks perfect over there so you can basically just push all of these up you can push your rectangles up a little bit and then you can add any other thing that you want to add so there are some letterheads that have the date that has the references any other thing i don't want to bore you with that one you can basically copy your test and then you do you either position them over here or over there now one thing that i want to add is the location the phone and then the web address so i'm going to select another test type start typing over here and then i'm going to use the font called acrobat so a link to that will be also in the description so i'm going to my notepad over here i have the 
text typed already then i'm going to paste it and then i'm going to change the color to white change this one back to center or centerized okay so i'm going to press ctrl j and duplicate this one and then i'll position it over here go back to my notepad and i'm going to select this one copy it and then i come back to pick my test tool edit this one and then i'm going to replace it with a test we do same for the website and then i'll position it over here go back to my notepad make a copy of the website and then bingo we go so this website decided to give me a tough time so i'm going to reduce that in size you have to reduce in size okay and that is it lastly i'm going to duplicate this particular logo make sure that i center it so i press ctrl a centerized centerized okay then i'll press ctrl d to deselect press ctrl t to transform it a little bit bigger like this so you can see from here that this logo wants to cover up all that we've spent time doing that is why in the first place you don't have to be a lazy artist you have to get rid of backgrounds now you right click on this you rasterize it and you go for your magic eraser tool so you're going to get rid of this background with a one click the background is off and that is it you could have done this in the first place to avoid all this stress well next time don't risk this so you go ahead and you drop the opacity to about 20 percent or below or upwards anyhow you want it that it will depend on the printer that you're going to use and that is basically how we create watermarks in photoshop new tip okay so that is it we are almost done with this particular design the last thing that we're going to add is the motto so person wants the motto underneath of this one so i'm going to select my test tool and then i'm going to start to write something and the motto is in god we trust so i'm going to pick a color from here probably i'm going a bit darker this time around and then the font type has to be bold and press ctrl a and you make sure that it is centered so you can drag it down over here and you are good to go so practically that's it that's how to design a very clean professional letterhead in photoshop like this if you want to add anything like the referencing and the date of which you could easily use the test select a test and you make a test and you position it at any place that you want to that is according to your own design wise but according to the one that requested for this one this is how the person wanted the design to be let me know about your thoughts about this design what went wrong what could be corrected and we take it up from there a big shout out to guardian motors for allowing us to use their design for this particular tutorial you can head over to their website their social media handles in case you want to make a car rental or purchase a car or anything that deals with general trading thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe like share comment and i'll see you guys in the next one innocent here and bye